27 blasts off, two American astronauts are away on man's longest ever journey in space. Later, as they circled the world, Gemini 6 followed, and the two spaceships joined forces 100 miles above the Earth. American tracking equipment to record this momentous meeting was set up on Ascension Island, a tiny British possession in the middle of the South Atlantic. Almost as far from America as it is from Africa, Ascension Island is made up of 35 extinct volcanoes. A party of British Marines first landed there in 1815. And it's here that Britain is to play its part in history's greatest space probe. Cable and wireless, in association with Marconi, are to build a station for a vast satellite communication system which will help to track man's first journey to the moon. The United States Apollo project is designed to take place before 1970. Among all this modern equipment, links with the past can still be found. Man-drawn fire engines stand ready today, just as they did when they were first used at the turn of the century. The foundation stone of the church shows the date it was built, 1843. Today, it serves the religious needs of some 1,500 men, women and children living on the island. There's a hospital too, with a British doctor and two British nurses. Now it's a race against time to get this million pound tracking station into operation. In 1966, two new communication satellites will orbit the Earth, and through them, British eyes and ears will be following Apollo on its journey to the moon. <laughs>